G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today, we're in a beautiful part of the world, somewhere along the mid-north coast of New South Wales. Yarn's with us as well. What's going on? So we're on a camping and spearfishing and maybe fishing trip. We brought Yarn's flash cruiser and we got the duck on the back as well. So we're gonna be diving out of the duck and we're about to beach launch actually right here. We've got Logic's fish bag in there ready to hopefully fill with fish. Fingers crossed it's clear water. It looks pretty clear and hopefully we can get some good fish. Yarn will be up in the rooftop. I'll be in the swag. But yeah, we'll get to that later. I just thought I'd introduce you guys before we go for a dive. And yeah, we're going to chuck the duck in, do some diving around this beautiful part. I've dived here once before. Uh, I think Yarn's dived here once before as well. We didn't do that well, so hopefully this time will be the change. We've got the boat. We can access a few other places a bit better. And yeah, hopefully it's just an epic, epic time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and we'll let the show get started. Here comes the big girl. So I don't know if there is boat ramps here or not, but yeah, you just got to beach launch it. There's a bit of a shore break here, but hopefully if we time it all right, we'll be fine. It's a little bit unorthodox, but we got the job done in there. <laughs> we got one wave over the front to the shorey. That's why there's water on the camera, but we're out here. Right, we're gonna dive this first spot. Looks pretty clear. I don't know what to expect. We got fingers crossed for some good fish, maybe jewfish, kingfish, but we don't want to jinx ourselves. Maybe a snapper, maybe. Maybe absolutely nothing, but I guess that's that's the beauty of spear fishing. It'll be better than sitting at home anyway, but yeah, we'll jump in and fingers crossed we can get some fish. Good fish hopefully, but yeah, I guess we'll see in the water. Ooh. Jumped into the first spot. You guys would have saw it was pretty damn murky. The GoPro probably makes it look better than what it was. But yeah, it was really murky. We didn't see that much. We saw a few fish here and there, but we didn't actually shoot anything. We're gonna try a different spot and it's even worse here, but <laughs> you never know. All it takes is one fish really. We'll see in the water. Day one was a bit of a fail on the spearfishing grounds. Lucky we bought some sausages. We've got some food, so we're not gonna go hungry. We were pretty confident we were gonna get some fish, but it was just so murky, so green. At the start, it wasn't too bad. We probably could have shot a couple fish then, but as soon as we got out from the first spot and dived, just changed spots, it just got worse, worse, worse. Came back to the first spot, was just as bad as the other spots. Tonight, we'll probably chill out, camp, cook some dinner, and yeah, have a, have a good time nonetheless. It's still better than sitting at home, you know, we didn't shoot anything, but that's the risk you gotta take sometimes coming up the coast or down the coast. We made awesome memories with trips like this and yeah, 
confident we'll still get fish. Made it onto the beach, but we got a bit bogged. It's just the trailer. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, he's out. Seeing as we did no good on the spear guns, we got the old faithful out. And I'm gonna aim for a Jewfish. Yarn's got a smaller soft plastic on, and he's just gonna try for a couple of flatties or something. First fish of the day. Monster. Little flatty. This is set up. Yarn knows what he's doing. He's got the awning. Took about two seconds to set up. Yarn's got the rooftop on the top. I got me double swag. We'll set up a bit later. Yeah, we're gonna cook some sausages. Drink a couple of beers. Most important part of the whole setup. Asahi. If it's free, <laughs> it's can't mine. complain. <laughs> so we might fish again in this gutter here, but we'll just cruise. We have just spotted Jewfish on the drone. <laughs> go, go cast. <laughs> Yarn is on. I can't believe that just happened. We just found Dewey's on the drone and we just hooked up. This is mental. Oh my God. Can you walk? Oh this is the most mental thing <laughs> I've ever seen. I can't believe we just did that. Oh my God, that is. <laughs> we just found Dewfish with the drone. That was about third cast. That was first cast. First cast! It's out of the open now, we might land this. If we land this, this will be the most mental clip on YouTube. Alright, it's way out of the open That's now. good, that's good. I can't believe this man. Even if we lose this fish, the fact oh, that we just sight casted that with the drone is Wait, just look mental. At this, guys. Look at this! <laughs> Wait, you ready? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> if we lose this, we're going in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> like and subscribe, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Woo. If this doesn't get you pumped to go fish and go camp and whatever, I don't know what will, because that is just mental. Bring it around I'm if you can. Come into this yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So yards fishing 25 pound lead up. Gave me some of my leader to use. You probably wish you had that 50 pound back on. Because <laughs> we were just beach fishing earlier. But we put 25 pound on. First kind of rock that we looked at. Grab the rod, grab the rod, grab the rod. <laughs> oh, on the snapper setup. What I pound braid is that, 20? 30. 30 pound braid, 25 pound leader. The fact that we've... Oh, how's those head shape? And it didn't feel that big at the start, did it? Oh, I got f***ed up then. <laughs> oh. Man. <laughs> Just... Alright, here we go. He's playing, playing nicely. He's coming back. Have now. you seen him yet? No, I haven't. He couldn't be too far away from that. Dude, I don't like him over here. Before he yeah, was over uh, there and it was good. Walking around the rock. Make sure you, your braids real close to those yeah. rocks. You alright? 
Oh, this is mental. This is mental. Yeah, I just did that all by himself. <laughs> that just made the Best trip. Best on the run. First cast, that's a 20 kilo slob. Holy <laughs> shit. First Holy <laughs> on the snapper gear. Soft classic, what's that, a squidgy paddle yeah. tail? Paddle tail. Oh my god, that is literally 20 kilos. That is a monster <laughs> chew. We didn't think they were that big, but we knew they would do his Yes! Yes! Brother! Yes! Look at that! Holy shit! What are you feeling? I am so stoked. I've fished for juice for that much and I've finally done it and it is a cracker. I've caught I caught my first juice actually with Harry in the in the river. Oh, Got yeah. some small ones. That. I've shot a couple juice. Not this big. I've shot 10 kilo Jew, 11 kilo Jew, and this is, yeah, a 20 kilo Jew. Like, this is a slob. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The slob whisperer. Last time I checked in, it was dirty and we'll go to bed. <laughs> now we got a 20 kilo Jewy. Oh. oh, that was the most insane thing I think I've ever seen when it comes to fishing. Look at the donger in its mouth. <laughs> Right, uh, put her in. <laughs> 30 pound braid and 25 pound leader. There you go. <laughs> we wanted a fish that doesn't fit. That's as good as we're gonna get. <laughs> right, uh, got the squidgy prawn on. I don't think it's a dewy. I repeat, it's not a Dewey. If it's a Dewey, it's small. Could be a small Dewey. Definitely not a big Dewey. It's nothing like your ones. <laughs> it might have been a tailor, because my, my... Oh, I reckon it was a tailor for sure. Yeah. There was no way I was leaving that, I was like... I Dude, to I was going to say, you're going to have to like reef him up there and yeah. I'm just going to have to bear tackle him, eh? Oh, that's tiny. Is it a Dewey? Yeah. Oh, Tyler. It's on my head. <laughs> Your boy's done it again. Tiny little soap. Wait. Settle down. What a day. So, we didn't end up Get any more big jewies. Yarn got a massive one, a stonker that you guys would have saw just then, and a smaller one. And we are down one GoPro, but it's all worth it because that's those are memories for life. Like you can't be mad about a broken camera when we just have those memories that we'll probably tell our grandchildren when we're old and wrinkly. But anyway, hopefully the SD card's fine. It should be fine. So damn stoked. You got any words to say? I'm bugged. <laughs> that was just the. That was literally the. Oh, that was just, I don't know, I'm lost for words. <laughs> I reckon it's up there with one of the most insane things. Just how it all happened. Like, we just flew the drone, we're buggered, we're kind of down about how bad it was today we, when we are diving. And I, I said it too early, I said today was a fail with when it comes to diving, but that's all good. But just like that, it changes. We saw one thing on the drone, first cast, Yarn probably put it on its head, just a lure straight in its face, and yeah, what a fish to start the trip off with. Well, finally, gonna set the swags up, set the rooftop tent up. We've earned it now. 
we were gonna go to sleep probably we, if we didn't put the drone up we'd probably be asleep right now just <laughs> thinking how bad of the day it was anyway yeah we'll set everything up have a look at a bit of the footage we'll froth out watching it probably and yeah what what a day